growing trees and aquaponics is possible. And the way I grow the trees, I'm going to show you now in this video. So here we are again at the app and flow table of my decoupled aquaponics system. I already made a video about this kind of setup uh, and I put it for you here in the info chart. So I just short, this is a decoupled system, meaning so the water goes like in a one-way street from the fish into my uh, app and flow table system and there it gets utilized so long until the water is taken up by the plants and evaporated to the air. Um, Usually I use this table for pre-growing our vegetable plants for our organic gardening area here. And, uh, but that season, let's say, the majority of pre-growing is over. And um, I started this year a lot of seeds from trees because I want to reforest a little bit uh, this place here because in the last past years we had to cut down some trees because they were dying because of the drought we had a couple of years ago. Uh, and that's why I started to look for spe specific trees to grow. Uh, and unfortunately, it's sometimes very hard or, and or expensive to get them. That's why I decided to get myself some seeds and just gave it a try to grow seeds in my decoupled aquaponics setup here. And I'm actually pretty happy with the trees or with the results so far. The trees that I choose here to grow are already kind of orientated to the climate change, so they can handle dry and hot uh, climates. For example, I have the pseudo acacia here uh, and different uh, and the um, variety of uh, edible chestnuts, uh, maronis, I guess it's called. Uh, and those type of trees, they grow very deep roots to the ground that they still can reach water in very hot and dry summers. Uh, furthermore. All the trees I grow here are actually very um, valuable for the ecosystem because they produce a lot of nectar and pollen. And uh, some of them are also flowering very late in the season. And that's kind of very important because, you know, at a certain moment in the season, at least here in my location in Western Germany, let's say after July, the main um, pollen and nectar flows are over, right? Uh, and if you have a, a, a tree that is, for example, flowering in August, uh, it's that, that's very valuable for the ecosystem because then the insects and all the bees and the bumblebees and whatever is kind of um, profiting from nectar and pollen uh, is very, very thankful to have a late flowering plant. And especially trees, because trees on the vertical um, axis have a lot of flowers and a lot of um, pollen and nectar to donate if they are old enough, of course. Right, so that's why I decided to grow those types of trees. Uh, I will put you uh, the names of those trees, uh, the Latin names in the description. I only know now my uh, blunt translated English names. So I have here the vinegar tree, I have uh, the Rubinia, pseudo acacia, that name I know. I have like the edible chestnut and uh, I have some apple trees and I have some um, thread trees they are called. There's like a Japanese tree and uh, the trivial name of that tree, if I'm not mistaken, is honey locos because it is really uh, a nectar and pollen producing plant. And uh, by the way, do you know our bees? These are our bees. Yeah, and um, this is the way I grow trees here in my aquaponic system. So it's like an ebb and flow decoupled system. I grow these plants actually uh, in pots. And these pots have just uh, normal gardening soil or garden soil. Believe it or not, actually we collected soil here from the ground, mix it with uh, compost from the local uh, compost plant uh, and uh, we are growing here the plants in. So these tables getting flooded once or every second day depending on the on the weather conditions so that the, wets, uh, that the roots always get, that the plants always get wet feet. So we, in, in this way we prevent that the leaves are getting wet uh, and then I, I, we hope at least that we can prevent quite some uh, fungal problems on the leaves. Uh, and so far it was very well. Uh, what I really like about kind of that combination of setup is like if we can combine kind of a high-tech method to grow plants with very traditional things like a tree nursery for example or to combine an aquaponic system or like an app and flow table system together with a normal organic gardening if you pre-grow your, your young vegetable plants or in this case even making a tree nursery out of this table. That's why I'm uh, very very happy with this type of uh, system. Yeah, that's it about the system. Just a quick update on my table here in the middle of the season. We have now uh, July uh, and the plants are growing pretty well. So I think still three more months to go to grow. And um, by the way, thanks you so much for subscribing to my channel. I have reached now the thousand followers and that makes me enormously happy. And uh, if you have any questions or feedback, just post it in the comment section below the video. Um, and of course, if you like the video, please subscribe and ring the bell for my channel and then I hope to see you for the next video and ciao!